everyone welcome to healthy living glad to have you all here today we are going to overwinter peppers now a recent video i had already overwinter some peppers and did a tour and everything but this video here is going to be overwinter peppers only okay to overwinter the peppers that i have in the raised bed i gather up some containers so i will be able to use them and some labels that i had showed you earlier. i got them right here and that would just make it easy for me the only reason why i didn't put these labels on the containers yet because i don't know what to expect as far as the roots on some of them peppers they can get quite large and I want to be able to accommodate them roots in the right container so that's the reason why I haven't slapped my labels on to my containers the containers that I have is the ones I have got from the dollar store uh, ones just hanging around some a lot of them are pretty much free but get what you can get and that's how I'm going to decide what pepper is going to go in what container on the root system how large the roots are on that plant so let's get started just wanted to talk and let you know what was going on over here in healthy living i want to know what you are doing have you started doing any overwintering on your peppers or anything that you have or are you even going to fool with it? have you ever done it i have done it on my cayenne peppers and my chili peppers i think it's called and so i got a little feel of it i will show them to you as well but i'm gonna get started because it's a little sunny and it's a little hot y'all <laughs> okay so let me put this up Whew. here we go <laughs> i need to be careful here because i do have onions that is growing so let me just remove this all this together. here sorry if i threw any pine needles on y'all Yes, this morning it was beautiful, y'all. Yeah. It was. It was beautiful. And now it's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got onions all the way around this. Here. This pepper here never did perform any peppers. Wait a minute. I think I got one here. This was the most stubborn plant out of all the plants and it looks like now it's november the 8th it looks like that we might have and we do have a pepper and it looks like a bell pepper that's what it looks like and you know what i'm not going to even cut it back i'm going to leave it just the way it is but i'm going to remove it out of here nope I felt that because it started leaning. Okay. All right. I already put some soil in there from out of the wheelbarrow. So as I bring this up, it's going to go right in. Let's see. There's my onion. Let's be nice to the onion here. There's another onion. Okay. I don't know what in the world was going on with this plant. It didn't like. I guess it must didn't like where it was. I'm trying not to. Uh, is it ants? Okay, yeah. It looks like. It's like we had a little ant issue here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I think this should be able to accommodate this size here. I'm going to leave whatever pepper is on it, I'm going to leave it. Okay, so we got this one already. From what I can look at it, it looks like a bell pepper. First, I had an unknown. So I am gonna still put unknown, because I don't know if it's a, 
if it's a bell pepper, if it's green or if it's chocolate, if it's yellow, I'm not exactly sure. And show you that I use my tape because I got, I must have had, uh, I must was thinking I was going to put uh, broccoli in here August the 27th and I didn't. So what we're going to do, we're going to just put it right on top. Uh, that's kind of messy looking. We're going to put that right on top. Unknown. And we're going to put green bell pepper. Okay, we got the first one done. put my onions back in place because I truly don't want to lose them. Okay, that's the onion. Shafito peppers. some here just in case you didn't get to see I still have peppers on here and uh, now I have a nice size hole I will fill that in and plant some onions in that area here we're gonna do the same thing thinking this size. Oh my. Oh my. So you see that the roots on here is very large. It's like trying to stick a size 10 and a size 9. That is not going to work. So instead, I have another container, much larger, where it should be happy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some soil in here and then I'm going to put the plant in. Smoky Carolina Reaper. And I brought this from one of the stores, grocery stores, one of them. And my thing was to grow it and save the seeds. So I would never have to buy another plant and so I can share it as well. Get your plant in the container that it needs to be in. That way you don't have so much shock going on and you don't want to dry your roots out. We have one left on here. Oh, we got two. When I get ready to cut them back, I will be cutting in here, but I'm not going to do that today. Mainly it's going to just put them where they need to go on some of them. If you look down at the bottom, I have watered them to the point that the water is running out because just for some reason, I feel like peppers are so sensitive when you take them out of the ground and their roots are exposed 
and it doesn't take them long to go and shop and you can see them some of them kind of looking all loopy droopy but it's okay but it's, if you can do everything immediately then you stand a chance for your uh, peppers to survive Habanero, and they still have peppers on them. I gotta get another container. I have three different size containers that I can pick from. I can pick this one, they already have holes in them. All the plants that I transplanted over here in these containers, every last one of them have some type of hole at the bottom. Now, this one doesn't have a hole in it, and this one doesn't have a hole in it. So I have to make sure if I use these, I'm gonna have to put a hole in, in the bottom or in, on the side. I'm trying my best not to use this size container for the pepper. This is a lot smaller, so I'm gonna go with this one. And end up putting holes in it as well. Not right now, but I will do it. If you don't do it, it's gonna, your roots is gonna root rot. And that's not what you want. You're not going through all this trouble to kill off a plant. What makes me feel like I need to put this one, this plant in this size container and instead of the other ones? Yeah, it's not completely free yet. Let's see. Wow, y'all, yeah, the roots are way over here. This is what it looks like. All of them. So that's what made me decide to give them this container. And look how strong the branch is. Okay. I brought the plant up so it have room to grow to the bottom since we know that the roots need a deep area. And if it does good enough in here, I might just leave it in here next year. Okay, y'all, so right now, I'm not gonna cut the peppers back just yet. I'm gonna wait till they kinda settle in and get acclimated with this shock that I just did to them. I'm gonna put them in the shaded area and then come back and cut back on the ones that I wanna cut back on. And I might leave some to hanging around like these um, habaneros, it's like one, there's three, four, five, six, 
seven. It's seven of them on here. Eight. I'm going to pretty much store these on the patio. And uh, if they keep continuing giving me, giving me food, I'm going to keep them. But eventually I'm going to cut them back. But I'm not going to cut them back today, right now. They have sustained such a shock that I would just like double shock them, okay? And I'm not going to do that. Hello everyone, if you are still here with me, I greatly appreciate you. I did the biggest part yesterday, putting them in their container, making sure that they are okay in them containers. Other than that, it's worthless by trying to do it because that is the most important part. The second important part is cutting them back. And that is what we're gonna be doing today. It's almost like a crucial cut. And this is the part that none of us like for sure and if you notice the size containers that i have them in to the point that this container is big enough that next year when the spring comes, i'm not going to take this plant out i'm going to leave this plant right on in here i'm going to come here if you can see and start cutting and they say you want to leave a b and so that's what i'm doing It, it, it looks like, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm cutting. Right here. Even though I've been cutting, you see we still have some plants that's trying to grow nice and green. They'll have a pepper on there so if you have not labeled your containers and I have flowers as well I did a really good harvest on peppers on one of them videos if you haven't seen it so I'll just drop them in there plus I have a label in here as well and you can go in and start cutting the leaves you just continue on doing it. These peppers here, they are just beautiful. This is the cayenne pepper that I was letting you see that I overwintered last uh, fall. But only thing I didn't do with this one, I didn't touch it at all. I let it keep its peppers, the leaves, and all of that. This is my first time ever cutting this one back. And I said I was going to show you, so I remembered to do so. Just to let you know, I still have peppers, but it's already in this container. So we're good there. We have more peppers here, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers in this container. Look at that gorgeous bell pepper, y'all, right here. <laughs> y'all know I wasn't gonna bother that. And look at this one here. You see that one down there? Oh my goodness. And jalapeno peppers. So I made good use of this container. And then I already done winter, overwinter these peppers here. This plant here, this little branch had fell off a pepper. And uh, I just stuck it in water. And then after that, I stuck it in some dirt. And it's been with me for some months now. This is the chocolate 
bell pepper. I have not removed it out of the concrete, but it's soon to be removed. And I would like to keep this one as long as I can. Yes, I have to say there's more peppers. These are banana peppers. Okay, even though we have tomatoes still growing. Look at that size, banana pepper, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty long. Look at that. Ah. This is another one. This is the chili pepper that I overwinter. I did neglect this one this year, but it is still alive. And uh, so I need to show it some attention, take it out of that container as well. I don't have a greenhouse, but this is where the peppers are stored at this time. I'm pretty sure eventually I'm going to end up moving them, but right now that's where they're going to be. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share what I'm doing in Healthy Living and to show you how I was able to overwinter my peppers, bell peppers, and you can see that I have more. But let me know what you are doing in your garden, and I'll see you all in the next video.